The Legend of King Solomon's Carpet. Could it actually have been real? Could it? From legends of rings, controlling demons, having worms that can burrow through stone called Shamirs, to many other endless fascinating tales about King Solomon, one of the fascinating ones is the legend of the flying carpet, which you'll see repeated in many themes throughout Middle East culture and around the world. The Caper Nagast, meaning Book of the Kings, is a sacred book to the Ethiopians. This records the legend of Solomon's flying carpet, as do other records from Ethiopia, Tibet, and even in the Quran. He even supposedly gifted one of these to the Queen of Sheba. One of the fictional accounts based off Solomon's flying carpet you may know was Aladdin. The idea was that Solomon was flying around like Aladdin on his flying carpet, and it was said that he subdued and controlled the winds, which is called aerokinesis. I'd like for you to focus on this picture behind me of the flying carpet, and I noticed two very interesting things. You see the harp right here with the flying carpet? Think about a thread that could be lighter than air, some sort of silk from a special silkworm, or some sort of other special thread. Now picture her playing the harp and the resonance of the strings create frequency that can actually make and keep the carpet afloat. This idea of resonance and levitation is not new. And the idea of the term skilled musician when you read it in the Bible doesn't mean somebody that just sounds good. It means somebody with the knowledge to do something like this. Or like how David was said to heal King Saul when he played the harp. That's a skilled musician. There's a knowledge behind all this. A secret science that is lost and everyone says it's legend. Is it? There's a whole science behind this involving also what looked like to be crystals in his hand. I've reported some on crystals and a lot more in the future to come, especially from the scientific community as they figure more out about these things. Also, what if some of the science behind the flying carpet included ultra-magnetic clay, super refined into wool fibers by the hottest fires you can imagine. Now take this whole principle of magnetism with the knowledge of the wind that Solomon had. The four winds, the jet streams, knowledge of the angelic presences, etc. Combine that with knowledge of Earth's magnetic fields and ley lines. Now think about the thought of magnetic wind, or the north wind coming from the magnetic Mount Maru mountain in Legends. Imagine if you knew all the science behind this, and you knew how to work it like Solomon, how fascinating of a character must this have been. Speaking of magnetic wind, this may be why there's some compass anomalies around pockets of large magnetic presences, and the compass spins around in circles, moves back and forth, just like the wind does. Magnetic wind. So this idea of Solomon being able to fly around is also tied into how some of the old world map and original cartography were done, which obviously were done from the air. What did Solomon know? So many fascinating things beyond the texts. Could this have existed? So many mysteries to explore. For now, I'm off of my flying carpet.